Tabby, girl calico, and girl Tabby with a teeny bit of calico. Oh my god, they're all just like poking their faces. <laughs> <laughs> so cute. <laughs> Oh, okay. Well, apparently you can do this on your own now. Don't need our help. So Ellie kept her kittens up in the loft of the tack room for a couple weeks. We set up a fan because it was super, super hot up there and we had to leave the door open so she could come and go. But that was her chosen spot, so we let her have it. Um, and we tried to put up a little barrier so the kittens wouldn't fall out. Now they're about five weeks old. They were exploring around our feed room slash workshop at this point. Um, again, we didn't try to really corral them and just let them kind of be barn cats and explore. Their favorite thing to do, of course, was to play fight with each other, tackle and wrestle. And I just loved watching them. It was so, so cute. Ellie was meowing at her kittens for them to come out and meet me. It was adorable. They were all afraid of me and then she meowed at them. And I guess she said it was okay or for them to come say hi because they came right out and then all of saying hello to me. Thank you, a sweet mama. Mm -hmm. You, a sweet mama, yeah. Yeah. If you've watched our previous kitten video from when they were born, you know I really didn't handle them very much at all. I wanted to make sure they were healthy at the beginning and then we kind of just let them be kittens. So they were kind of getting used to us being around. I just took to sitting down next to wherever they were for 20, 30 minutes at a time, letting them just get comfortable with me being around them uh, and getting them socialized to people. your brother. He trying to sleep. Good girl, Ellie. <laughs> They're like, no, we're behaving. Good mama. Ellie was such a good mom. She had taught the kittens how to eat solid food by this point. They were kind of nursing here and there, but mostly eating the same cat food that she had. Um, mixture of wet and dry. She had also started to teach them how to use the litter box, which I thought was amazing. Uh, we just have one set up in the feed room there, and she had taught them how to go in and use it. Once the kittens were about six weeks, they spent a lot of time during the day, I think, in the woods. They just weren't in the common areas. We would only see them in the evenings after nighttime feeding the horses. So I would just do the same thing, spend some time with them, watching them wrestle each other. Uh, their favorite toy at this point was each other's tails or mom's tail. So that was super cute to watch and they would all just kind of wrestle and play with each other. We had also started to look for new homes for them at this point. We had thought about keeping maybe one of the kittens, but with Ellie and Punk, you know, we didn't really need any extra kittens. And we thought um, if we could find them a good home, then we would do that. Ellie 
Ellie was also a really tolerant mom. They would run around and jump on her and she would just put up with it. This calico kitten was definitely the spaz of the bunch. She was just hilarious, especially with her cute raccoon eyes and her being so fluffy compared to the other ones. She just cracked me up. Let me know in the comments, guys, which one of the kittens is your favorite? The kittens are now eight weeks old and it's time for them to go to new homes. Ellie's weaned them, their litter box trained, they're sociable enough and they're curious. So we ended up finding them some amazing homes. The orange one here went to the family of one of the girls that helps out on the farm here, my assistant Katie. The calico and the tabby actually got adopted together. So they were going to be kittens for a new young family with young kids and we thought that was just the perfect home for them. They were so adorable at this point. It was amazing watching them grow up from being so, so little, especially the calico, she got so fluffy. We think that must have been from her dad, but watching them grow up, the transformation of them and getting older and just going from being so cute to being fully formed kittens. And we were just really happy with the homes that they went to and they sent us some really cute updates which I've included here at the end. Thanks for watching everybody. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not already. Leave us a comment down below if you thought the kittens were cute and we'll see you in the next one. <laughs>